hello everybody so today we are going to learn about the portion clearance clearance is a word you are already familiar uh, you learned it from the beginning chapters like distribution excretion also okay so today we will look into in depth of what is uh, clearance means the definition of clearance is that is a theoretical volume of body fluid containing drug from which the drug is completely removed in a given period of time and its unit is ml per minute so what do you understand by this so it is a theoretical volume of body fluid containing drug from which the drug is completely removed within a period of time so read the definition once again so it is a theoretical volume it is a theoretical volume of body fluid it is a volume of the body fluid containing the drug from which the drug is completely removed okay now you learned excretion what was uh, rate of excretion rate of excretion was the amount of drug excreted out of the body there is some amount of drug present in our systemic circulation from this amount of drug what is present in the systemic circulation some amount of drug is excreted out of the body so the amount of drug excreted this we are considered where in case of excretion just opposite is the case of clearance in the case of clearance we are calculating how much amount of body fluid is free from drug it is not the amount of drug that is excreted it shows the volume of body fluid became free from the drug molecules because once we administered the drug it is true thoroughly distributed throughout the body in each volume of your blood extra and intra fluids everywhere the drug will be distributed so in case of the clearance clearance says suppose you have 6 liters of blood in your system that is the system is circulation out of this 6 liters how much volume of blood is free from drug molecule so the volume of blood or volume of body fluid that became free from the drug is calculated as the clearance okay hope it is clear for you the definition now the clearance unit is ml per minute that means this much volume of blood is free from drug in a particular period of time okay now the formula or the equation for the clearance is rate of elimination divided by plasma drug concentration rate of elimination divided by plasma drug concentration the total body clearance so what is the clearance of your entire body it is calculated as the sum of the organ clearances because I said it is something just opposite to that of your excretion in calculation okay so in excretion we have so many organs for excretion like renal excretion non renal excretion the same way there are organs for clearance the same organs is considered for the clearance also so the total clearance is sum of all the clearances by individual organs in excretion the total excretion was sum of renal excretion plus non renal excretions the same way in case of clearance also total body clearance is the sum of organ clearances so the main two organs that helps in the clearance is one is the kidney second one is liver so we have renal clearance as well as the hepatic clearance and miscellaneous other organ clearances so the total body clearance is considered as the sum of all this now the equation we already come across the equation for the clearance is equal to rate of elimination divided by plasma drug concentration rate of elimination that is elimination rate that is equal to dx by dt okay so clearance total clearance is equal to dx by dt divided by uh, plasma drug concentration how the rate of elimination dx by dt you have already studied in the 
last class one compartment open model IB bolus right now there you have studied for dx by dt is equal to ke x k is the elimination rate constant and x is the amount of drug so instead of dx by dt here you can substitute what ke x so clearance is equal to ke x divided by c so clearance equal to ke elimination rate constant into x amount of drug divided by c that is the plasma drug concentration so clearance is equal to ke x by c x by c amount by c x by c is equal to vd that is volume of distribution so this equation can be rewritten as clearance is equal to ke into vd now if you considering the individual organs like renal clearance renal clearance if you along consider means renal clearance is the rate of elimination by the kidney divided by plasma drug concentration the total clearance means total clearance is the uh, total rate of elimination divided by plasma drug concentration individual renal clearance is the rate of elimination rate of renal elimination or rate of elimination by the kidney divided by plasma drug concentration at the same time hepatic clearance is equal to rate of elimination by the liver okay what is the elimination by the liver divided by the plasma drug concentration and other organ clearance is equal to rate of elimination by the other organ organ clearance divided by concentration okay so the total systemic clearance or the total body clearance is considered as clt is equal to clr plus clh plus cl other clh represents the hepatic clearance clr represents the renal clear and uh, cl others represents the miscellaneous organ clearances so clt is equal to clr plus clh plus cl others okay so clt you have already seen clt is equal to ke into vd total clearance equal to ke into vd in parallel with that of equation we have renal clearance clr is equal to k small e into vd so here you can look into the difference k small e k small e represents the rate of excretion rate of excretion where ke capital e represents rate of elimination so the renal uh, e by the renal or the kidney clear the drug by the process of excretion the liver clear the drug by the process of metabolism kidney clear the drug molecules by the process of excretion so excretion rate of excretion is the k small e ke into vd is known as the clr and clh is equal to km into vd km represents the rate of metabolism rate of metabolism into vd so clh is equal to km into vd now since ke is equal to you know ke is equal to 0.693 divided by t half you can substitute the value of in case of the previous equation and you will get clearance equal to 0.693 vd divided by t half it's an alternative equation okay that's it. nothing more in that now we are going for the other concept that is rate of elimination of an organ is equal to rate of presentation of an organ minus rate of exit from the organ okay so i hope the portions to the last slide is clear for you okay now we are going into another concept okay another concept that is rate of elimination individually you look into rate of elimination by an organ means individual organ how much what is the rate at what rate it eliminates is equal to rate of presentation into the organ minus rate of elimination rate of presentation means what how much is present or how much is entered suppose if you consider liver okay just listen consider liver as an organ so what is the elimination by the liver how to calculate how to determine the elimination by the liver it is depends on what what is the amount of drug entered into the liver or how much amount of drug is supplied into the liver now liver what, what the liver does liver enzymes metabolizes the drug molecule right so liver enzyme metabolizes the drug molecule and there is um, again blood supply through the arteries from the vein so what happens some of the drug molecule goes out of the liver so through the blood circulation drug is entering along with the blood into the liver 
liver metabolizes the drug with the enzyme and some amount of drug is eliminated out of the body if you say quantified example suppose 10 mg of drug entered into liver liver metabolizes the some amount of drug the entire 10 mg may not be metabolized in a single moment of time so 10 mg of drug has entered into the liver in one minute time liver in that one minute time metabolizes a particular amount of drug and the blood what is coming out of the liver has 9 mg of 9 mg of drug is an example okay so 10 mg of drug has entered into the liver but liver metabolizes and uh, the exit blood has an amount of 9 mg so total what is the difference the difference is only 1 mg so this 1 mg is what cleared by the liver so 10 mg entered into the liver 9 mg exited from the liver the balance 1 mg might be cleared by the liver so this we are calculating in this way that is rate of elimination by the liver or rate of elimination with the organ is equal to rate of presentation to the organ example 10 minus rate of exit from the organ 9 so 10 minus 9 eliminated quantity is equal to 1 now in other way the rate of presentation is equal to organ blood flow into entering concentration that is what is the amount of drug now for example we said 10 mg of drug has entered in one minute of time so this entry of 10 mg depends on what entry of 10 mg is depends upon the blood flow like blood flow rate so each ml contains each ml contains 0.5 mg each ml contains 0.5 mg and there is a particular flow of the blood into the organs if there is flow of blood is zero if there is no blood into flow of blood into the liver what happens the drug is not entering into the liver if the flow of blood is high more amount of drug will enter into the liver if the flow of blood is low less amount of drug only will enter into the organ so the entry of drug the amount of drug that entered into the organ is depends on what it is depends upon the product of volume of blood that entered into the organ into concentration of drug present in that volume of blood okay so it is the total amount of drug that entered in the organ is considered as the product of volume and concentration so the rate of presentation is equal to organ blood flow into entering concentration organ blood flow is represented as capital q entering concentration is represented as c in c in okay so the total rate of presentation is equal to q into c i n now the next equation is rate of exit from the organ that is equal to again how much amount of drug has entered then the same way now we have to calculate how much amount of drug has exited out of the organ so the exited quantity again it is equation is equal to volume of blood flowing into the organ multiplied with the what is the concentration of drug present in the exited volume of blood it is not the amount of drug that is present in the volume of blood that is entered into the organ but the um, amount of or the concentration of drug present in the exiting volume okay so product of blood flow and concentration is considered as the uh, rate of exit so the flow of blood will be same because the liver is not taking up the flood blood how much volume of blood is entering into the liver the same amount will be going out of the liver okay so the flow of blood will be same because it is depends upon our heart rate it is not depends upon the liver so the flow of uh, blood flow rate always will be constant into the organ and from the organ so the flow rate is considered as the q same and the concentration of drug that is present in the exited volume is considered as c out so the total amount rate of um, exit from the organ is considered as q into c out now rate of elimination is equal to substitute these two in the first equation rate of elimination that is equal to q into c i n minus q into c out q is a common term so q that is equal to q into c i n minus c out and this is known as the rate of extraction the rate of extraction so this is a, a new term you will see that is the rate of extraction q into c i n minus c out now 
rate of extraction divided by cin the rate of extraction divided by cin that is equal to equation is q into cin minus c out divided by cin so this is an index index or this is a ratio of uh, extraction so it's known as the extraction ratio er capital er q into er so the equation for the extraction ratio is q into cin minus c out divided by cin So this extraction ratio generally defines as uh, it is an index. It is an index showing how efficiently the organ clears your drug from the body. It is an index that explain how efficiently the organ clears your drug molecule. Now this extraction ratio can also, as, as I said, it's an index. It is an index means it is considered as one parameter like clearance, like T half, like elimination. Extraction ratio is also also considered as a parameter in the clinical pharmacokinetics for determining the pharmacokinetics of the drug molecule okay now this based upon the extraction ratio the drug can be classified into three with a high extraction ratio moderate extraction or intermediate extraction and a low extraction ratio so the drug molecule with an extraction ratio so the maximum the uh, so um, the range of extraction ratio always ranges from 0 to 7 sorry 0 to 1 that means 0 is the lowest extraction 1 is the highest extraction how does it become so you, you calculate in this way CIN 100 mg of drug is entered into the organ 100 mg has moved out of the organ so what is the extraction extraction is 0 okay 100 mg of drug entered into the liver 40 mg has returned the liver 40 mg has come, came out of the liver how much it is extracted 60 mg so the extraction ratio becomes what 60 divided by 100 100 is the 100 is the amount of drug entered into the liver listen to the example okay 100 mg is the drug entered into the liver liver metabolized or cleared the drug molecule and 40 mg has gone out of the liver so the difference is 60 as per the equation extraction ratio is equal to cin minus c out divided by cin so 100 minus 60 divided by 100 so what is the ratio ratio is 0 0.6 okay so in the previous equation previous example the ratio was 0 now the ratio is 0.6 so always the value of the drug molecule uh, and in, the, in other way 100 mg drug has uh, entered uh, then uh, 0 mg has exited out of the body and uh, so equation becomes 100 minus 0 divided by 100 so that becomes 1 so the value ranges for the clearance or the extraction ratio is from 0 to 1 0 is the lowest value and 1 is the highest value so 0 indicates what the drug is not extracted one indicates what the drug is highly extracted so based upon this extraction ratio the drugs are generally classified so the drugs with the above extraction ratio above 0.7 is considered as highly extracted drug molecules and the drug between 0.7 to 0.3 is considered as an intermediate and less than 0.3 indicated as slowly extracted or drugs with the low extraction ratio okay so then there is a concept uh, for easiness for you people to understand clearly a little bit you know what is t half you know what is elimination if the drug molecule with elimination is faster elimination is faster means what drug is easily eliminated out of the body so drug t half how we represent the t half this is a time taken for half of the drug molecule to be eliminated if t half is higher means what and t half is lower means what if t half is lower means drug is highly eliminated if t half lower two hours is the t half that means within the two hours 50 percentage of the drug is excreted out 50 percentage of the drug is eliminated out that means what elimination is faster t half is 
20 hours means what it takes 20 hours for the tuck molecule to eliminate 50 percentage so t half 20 percentage means what the elimination is a slow process the same way sam how we consider our elimination or the t half we can consider in the extraction ratio also so in the in the, in the what is the practical use of this if you look into uh, any of the particular drug molecules in the journals or in a website or any of the um, like uh, patient information leaflets available in your medication there you can see the elimination of the drug might be uh, represented by means of extraction ratio so extraction ratio it's 0.3 means the drug is slowly extracted that means it remains in the body for a longer period of time the drug with an extraction ratio 0.8 represents it is highly extracted that means the drug may remain only for a slow for a less duration in our body it is highly highly eliminated very fastly it is eliminated out of the body so if it is fastly eliminated what is the next step the frequency of administration the frequency of administration will increase that means frequently we have to administer with a less uh, time interval we have to administer the drug molecule so the drug molecules with a high extraction ratio may be continuously administering uh, in a less time gap whereas with the drug molecules with a low er will have a prolonged duration of action that is the um, concept behind this okay now we are going for the individual organ clearances first one is the um, renal clearance sorry renal clearance is uh, represented by the equation that is the rate of urinary excretion divided by plasma drug concentration we have this equation already come across the rate of elimination by the kidney divided by plasma drug concentration okay so um, clr is equal to clr is equal to rate of elimination by the kidneys this portion is studied in the chapter excretion so renal clearance is equal to what rate of filtration plus rate of secretion minus rate of reabsorption so rate of filtration plus secretion minus reabsorption divided by c will gives you what renal clearance renal clearance ratio okay so the clearance of the drug divided by the creatinine clearance clearance of a drug divided by the creatinine clearance is considered as the renal clearance ratio that means the clearance of a drug is compared with the standard creatinine clearance of a drug compared with the standard creatinine is considered as the renal clearance ratio now now we can listen to this table this table shows uh, the mechanism of excretion in relation with the renal clearance renal clearance ratio with the examples okay now we look into the first one the renal clearance is zero that means what the drug is not cleared the drug is not excreted what what how it happens the drug will be filtered the, but the filtered entire amount will be reabsorbed so you leave the case of the drug what whatever the substance might be say for example glucose it is filtered through the blood but it is been completely reabsorbed so filtration and it is reabsorbed and it is now where it is secreted out of the body okay so what happens the renal clearance ratio that is renal clearance ratio uh, sorry renal clearance becomes zero at the same time renal clearance ratio also becomes zero you know the range of renal clearance renal clearance varies from 0 to 650 okay so whereas renal clearance ratio varies from 0 to 5 0 to 5 okay now if the renal clearance is less than 130 what does it indicate renal clearance is less than 130 the drug is filtered at the same time drug is reabsorbed so in this case the clearance ratio will be between 0 and 1 where the drug is filtered fully filtered only it is not reabsorbed it is not secreted in that case the renal clearance will be exactly 130 whereas the renal clearance ratio will be exactly 1 okay creatinine is the example 
now the drug is drug with the glomerular filtration rate you know, clearance greater than 130 that means drug is filtered along with the drug is re sorry secreted also filtration along with the secretion gives you a glomerular filtration rate greater than 130 which will have a clearance ratio of greater than 1 and the drug which is highly um, uh, with a clearance ratio of 650 is the maximum value so that is clearance is equal to the plasma flow rate the drug is highly being filtered out of the body at the same time it is completely of secreted also okay so this is a uh, chart which representing a comparison of the clearance ratio along with the renal clearance now what is the hepatic clearance so the concept of organ clearance is same because what is the uh, amount of drug cleared by the kidney 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 renal clearance amount of drug cleared by the hepatic or the liver hepatic clearance now hepatic clearance is represented by clh is equal to clt minus clr clt minus clr so an equation again parallel to this clh is equal to qh into erh qh into erh okay Now one more thing you have to keep in mind this ratio that is clearance uh, ratio clearance ratio of drug with that of the creatinine clearance is considered as the excretion ratio okay you the same class in the you have already come across what is extraction ratio that is erh extraction ratio is general for the organ clearances whereas excretion ratio is specific for the liver so it is the ratio of clearance of organ with the clearance of the creatinine clearance okay or the renal clearance combined with that of the creatinine clearance is considered as the excretion ratio whereas extraction ratio was the index that representing how efficiently the drug is excreted by the sorry drug is cleared by the organs that was the extraction ratio so you should not confuse both the things okay this is excretion ratio previously we have come across extraction ratio okay now the last part of the hepatic clearance that is the hepatic clearance of drug divided into two groups that is first thing is drug with the hepatic blood flow rate limited clearance and drugs with the intrinsic capacity limited clearance that means the clearance the hepatic clearance of a drug maybe depends on two things that is the first thing is it is depends upon the blood flow rate limited second thing it is an intrinsic capacity limited clearance so in extraction ratio we studied the extraction of the drug is depends upon the blood flow that is only highlighted here so the drug what sorry what is the extraction of a, what is the uh, drug what is the blood that is applied into the organ based upon that the extraction or the hepatic clearance of the drug may be vary now you studied what is perfusion rate in the chapter distribution you know perfusion rate what was that it is the unit volume of blood that perfused into unit volume of tissue in a unit time is considered as the perfusion rate the same is the concept here also the perfusion rate determines the amount of drug entered into the liver in other way the perfusion rate determines perfusion of blood into the liver determines the amount of drug that enters into the liver if the perfusion of blood is less what happens less amount of drug only will enter into the liver if the perfusion is high or blood flow is high more amount of drug will enter into the liver now so the clearance of the drug is depends upon the blood flow so what is the significance effect here so if the blood flow is reduced if the hepatic blood flow is reduced the elimination of the drugs with a high extraction ratio certain drug molecules with a high extraction ratio that means uh, suppose with a greater than 0.7 
extraction ratio greater than 0.7 that is considered as the highly extracted drug molecules so if the um, blood flow to the liver is less what happens the drug will not be extracted the drug will not be cleared because the drug is not entering into the entering into the organ for clearing it okay so the this is much significant so as a part what will happen if the drug is not entering the body if the blood is not entering into the liver what happens the drug is not entering if the drug is not entered drug will not be cleared out so this is the significance of the hepatic blood flow rate limiter just opposite is the case of the intrinsic capacity limited so here blood flow is there but the liver metabolizes the drug by the help of enzymes enzymes does the activity of metabolizing now blood is supplying into the organ blood carries the drug molecules also but enzymes are inefficient to metabolize it enzymes are inefficient to metabolize the drug molecules so what happens even the blood is supplying the drug is not metabolizing so this is again becomes a more significant in case of the drug molecules with a low extraction values so the drug molecules with low extractive values will not be eliminated out of the body at all because it will be remaining in the body so low extraction values the drug molecules with the low extractive values low extraction ratio takes longer time for extraction right so it takes longer time for the extraction it is extracting slowly so already this particular drug is extracting slowly and again by the deficiency of by the drawback of your enzyme again if the metabolism is limited means what happens the drug won't be cleared the drug won't be cleared result in what result in accumulation of the drug in the body which may result in any guys of in any sort of toxicity okay so this is the significance of the intrinsic capacity limited cases whereas in case of blood flow rate limited what happens blood flow is um, blood flow is uh, reduced as a result what happens the drug is not entering into the liver for metabolizing so the drug molecules with a high extraction ratio are supposed to be eliminated out of the body very fastly so if it is eliminating out of the body very fastly what happens next the patient may take the second dose of the drug molecule suppose the for the uh, for the drug molecules with a high extractive values has to be um, uh, taken has to be administered very frequently so maybe taking three times a day so if the blood flow to the organ is less what happens blood flow is less drug is not entering into the liver and the drug is not meta eliminated the blood is not cleared simultaneously what happens the drug may be accumulated in the body as a part of accumulation the patient may consume then second dose patient may not know what is the activity of the enzyme the patient may consume the second dose then the drug what is administered in the first dose itself is remaining with in the body the patient after a particular period of time say for example for the 6 hours taken the second dose of the drug molecule this resulting more accumulation of the drug in the blood for the resulting toxicity okay so this is all about the topic clearance so we learned what is the clearance what is the definition for the clearance unit of clearance what is the total body clearance equations uh, what is organ clearance what is extraction ratio then we've uh, studied what is uh, renal clearance renal clearance ratio or extra excretion ratio what is hepatic clearance what are the two um, uh, factors that can affect your hepatic clearances okay that's all for the sessions kindly go through learn properly okay thank you